morning and welcome, honorable flag officers, distinguished scholars, and industry professionals, delegates. Um, welcome to Victoria. For those of you that are not from here, and for those of you who are, welcome back to Victoria, or welcome still in Victoria. Royal Roads University is proud to host this timely conference along with the support of the Maritime Force Pacific of the Royal Canadian Navy and from the Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies in Honolulu. For the past 72 years, first as the Royal Roads Naval College, which later became the Royal Roads Military College and now as Royal Roads University, we have brought together military and civilian leaders to foster discussion to debate politics, explore strategies with respect to the critical national and international challenges we face. Part of the legacy that we inherited uh, from our military origins is this focus on leadership, a focus on duty, a focus on personal responsibility, and a commitment to making a difference in the world. We have done this through our alumni, our ex-cadets, and more recently as a special purpose primarily graduate university with over 17,000 uh, alumni worldwide, leadership remains a common characteristic. We live in a global world linked by our oceans, and maritime security is an ever-increasing and insignificant challenge. The challenges that we face will be discussed in the, in the coming days. My co-chair, Admiral Pyle, will provide some more details on some of the topics in a few minutes. Effective leadership often requires working together to, allow, to identify and collaborate on solutions. I understand that we have representatives of over 20 countries from around the world. I think the potential for effective collaboration exists during the, the conference, in the discussions, and in the interactions, and in the networking. We have the right leaders in the room with the skills and experiences to address these challenges and to advance these discussions. Together, we have the potential to create a positive change in our world. I hope you take advantage of this unique opportunity. Good luck, and thank you for being here. Good morning and welcome. Thank you, Dr. Cahoon, for those warm words of welcome. And let me say how gratifying it must be for you, Maritime Forces Pacific and the Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies, to see this day finally arrive. Very shortly, all delegates will be rewarded for their long or short journey to Victoria by sharing time with an extraordinary panel of maritime experts. Experts who will bring this conference program to life by probing maritime security challenges of the 21st century. A century in which many believe oceans and the shores that make up their borders will be the premier game changer for mankind. In less than a decade, we have witnessed NATO, the world's foremost military alliance, grapple with its role and identity in a rapidly changing security environment, buffeted by unpredictable consequences of globalization and economic struggles of many of its member states. During the same period, we have witnessed the remarkable rise of Asia and Asian navies, a process that actually began decades ago and is now in full bloom. Modern, capable forces are expanding their reach and influence from Vladivostok to Cape Town and across the Pacific. With these developments, however, come a host of unresolved security issues, some historic, some of them new. A little closer to home, we continue to witness the opening of a new frontier, the Arctic Ocean. It is an ever-present reminder of the sensitivity of the world's great bodies of water to climate change and the myriad of economic, legal, environmental, and security issues that must be considered. Throughout my former career as a sailor, I have witnessed the evolution of many of these security challenges and participated in national and international efforts to bring, to bring stability 
and normalcy to regions made less fortunate by man and by nature. Without a doubt, the most effective path to success in these missions was only possible through partnerships and a common shared vision. Developing relationships and new perspectives are the overriding purposes of this gathering. This is a golden opportunity to listen, to learn, and debate maritime security with some of the world's leading authorities and leaders who make it their business to manage and protect our shared inheritance. On that note, I am deeply honored and very proud to turn the platform over to a dear friend and former shipmate, the leader, commander of Canada's Navy, Vice Admiral Paul Madison.